Hey friends, it's Laura. Welcome back to Shop with Laura and we are doing our December Club Couture transfer today. Happy December. I can hardly believe it. Uh, time is flying. The holidays are right around the corner. I guys, hope you guys had a great Thanksgiving last week. Missed seeing you all last Thursday, but hope you had a nice one with your friends or family or whatever you ended up doing. Um, as you can see behind me, we are rebuilding the collection of things last to Tuesday, we did our True Love is in a Stable, and today we've got our December Club Couture, which is always one of my favorites of, of the month. So we are going to do December Club, and that is, and I think to myself, what a wonderful world. Um, so I think for this design, I'm going to use a palette board, and I've actually distressed the palette board. You guys can see I just took some 80 grit sandpaper, sanded it off a little bit, wiped it down, and I think I'm going to do a hot mess technique, which is basically a mix of colors. We're going to use pomegranate or current jam would be another good choice. We're going to use forest and some shimmer moonlight because I just love shimmer moonlight. It's my favorite. And I will teach you how to do this hot mess technique. It's super easy. Um, but this one has a lot of different details to it. So rather than doing each little thing separately in detail, which is totally doable as well, um, I just thought I would do it all like hot mess. Another option would be just to do it all in one color. That'd keep it pretty simple too, but... We'll just, we'll take it to the next level, just a tiny bit. So I've got my board here. This is the palette board and we need to add a little bit of wax. So this is our surface wax. We're just gonna put a little bit of wax on the board uh, to make sure that you're creating a nice a surface for your paste and then also helps protect your transfer from the wood grains. Now I purposely distress this like both ways. So it kind of looks a little beat up uh, and that's intentional, and especially on the sides here. So just to kind of add a little bit extra dimension and not have it just be a plain old, whoops, plain old palette board. Um, distressing is one of those things you can do really quickly and easily with just uh, a little piece of sandpaper. So there we go. We got our wax on there. We're good to go. Now, if you are not already in the club, you should get in the club because it's way too fun. I'm actually getting ready to send out my December club gift. I send a quarterly club gift. You also get a welcome gift from me when you join the club. So you can go to club.chocwithlaura.com and get in. The club has an exclusive transfer, this one you can't buy anywhere else, and three chalk paste singles that coordinate each month. So it makes for a really fun project. And um, you can also uh, enjoy different specials throughout the year. And like I said, I send some gifts along the way too. So it's a fun program. And if you love to craft, this is something really fun for you to get in the mail, like happy mail every month, right? Um, so we're gonna go ahead and just center this on our palette board. Now the hot mess technique is basically putting blobs of different colors wherever you'd like, kind of scattering them around, and then um, mixing it all together with a squeegee. So you're gonna need a couple different squeegees for this, recommended. And let me go ahead and stir up some of these chalk paste because it's been a hot minute since some of these were used, especially this pomegranate. Still good, but like the outer edges were a little dry there, so didn't wanna get all the just, just dry dryness. So you can take a, a stir stick like this, or you can take a small squeegee, whichever one you'd prefer, and grab some of the, the chalk paste with that. I'm going to use, use stir sticks because so they're, they're simple. Um, got to grab some more here. We'll stir up our forest. That one's been used recently. And then shimmer moonlight. You always want to start with the shimmer moonlight because the, gr the gold kind of separates out of it. So... Now that you've got them all stirred up, we're gonna just take a little bit of globs. So let's just do this now first. And we're gonna glob it where we want it. And it really is a random pattern. That's what, that's what makes this <laughs> unique. Every piece is gonna be a little bit different. You do want enough chalk paste on there though. So when you get your, um, your squeegee go in that there's enough on there to wipe through. So you just wanna have a pretty decent amount um, all around. 
And because these are globs, they're not really gonna dry that fast. So you have some work time here that you can go ahead and do this. Oops. So this is another benefit to waxing. I got some on there and I can actually just probably take even a baby wipe when I'm done um, and get that back off. It won't be too bad. All right. In fact, you probably should have a baby wipe because the, the next part is a tad bit messy. All right, so I think we've got a pretty decent amount of chalk paste on here. So we're gonna take one of the larger squeegees now and we're just gonna kind of smear it all around. Be careful not to go off your board, right? But smearing all around. Whoops, I came dangerously close to the end of my transfer there. Uh, and then we're gonna go ahead and squeegee off the excess. There will be certain colors that go kind of bolder in certain areas. All right, now it would be ideal if I had somewhere to put this excess, which is why I just said baby wipe, but hopefully we're good to go here with just having that. I'll put it over here. Top of this pile of squeegees, we'll put another squeegee. We'll have a tower of squeegees. And then you just peel it off. And, and the idea is not to do too much blending so that you still get a decent color um, these are all darker colors, so you're going to be able to notice this as you get closer to the design. But you can definitely see all three colors in here prominently. Um, and it will be even easier, like I said, when you're closer to the screen. <laughs> it's hard to tell dimension in the screen anyway. But we'll dry this, and then it, it looks like a little mishmash of all these different colors. You can choose to do, also do some like mix of light and darks. That creates even more of a a shift between light and dark and so you can see those a lot um, easier the transitions between those colors I just kind of wanted to all keep it in the same dark color scheme so that's why we went with that but you really can do just about any color with hot mask techniques so I, I love to do that and fun to play around um, and this always just makes me think of that song right you guys are all singing the song for me now right and I think to myself what a wonderful world yeah. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day and enjoy the rest of your week. Um, it is December. Time to spend with friends, family, loved ones over the holiday season. Um, I think I might have one more project next week that is sort of holiday related, but I think um, the vast majority of mine are done for the holidays. And uh, so I hope you guys have had a chance to grab some of our things. Oh, and now we have our new winter collection that is all about Valentine's Day. So I'm going to be diving into that. We're going to make our Valentine's Day themed um, tiered tray, which is always fun. Those tiered trays are so much fun. Um, but I will see you guys back on our next video. Everything can be found at my website. Uh, the club transfer is club.chocolatelore.com or shop.shopwithlaura.com for everything else. And I hope you guys have a blessed day, and I'll see you again soon. Bye, guys.